There we go. All right. On to some examples. So I'm on page 49. So we started out arithmetic with talking about equality. So let's deal with one more equality example. So that would be like number four, where we have, we're trying to equate 3 plus yi with the complex number x minus square root of minus 25. So we said that two complex numbers are equal if the part without the i's, uh, you know, on the left is equal to the part without the i on the right, and the part with the i on the left is equal to the part with the i on the right. The real parts are equal, the imaginary parts are equal. That was the kind of technical way we phrased it. But the problem is I don't see any i's over here. Well, that's because we can simplify square root of minus 25. If we work with this a little bit, say use properties of exponents or uh, radicals, we can write this as square root of 25 times square root of minus 1, because minus 25 is just minus 1 times 25. So square root of minus 25 is just square root of minus 1 times square root of 25. Well, square root of 25 is 5 and square root of negative 1, well that's what we've been calling i this whole time. So we do have an i on both sides. So this will work out. The parts without the i's, the 3 on the left, has to match up with the x on the right. No. These are the real parts, and they have to be equal the imaginary parts are the parts with the i's, so we have to have y equaling minus 5. You know, they both have an i, so you know, we don't need to worry about equating that. We could just divide the i off. What we need to have be equal is we need to have the y and the minus 5 be equal. This is called the imaginary, the imaginary parts, and they too must be equal. So if x and y are real numbers and this equation is true, then it has to be the case that x equals 3 and y equals minus 5. All right. Now let's get back to some more basic arithmetic. So, 6. 6 is taking the complex number 4 minus 3i and subtracting it away from the complex number 5 plus 3i. Well, you can use the formula or do what I'm going to do, which is just kind of distribute the negative so we can drop all these parentheses. So I'm going to get 4 minus 3i minus 5 minus 3i. And now I combine like terms. The real parts are like terms, the 4 and the minus 5. So 4 minus 5 becomes minus 1. And the imaginary parts, minus 3i minus 3i, are like terms and they combine to be minus 6i. That's it. That's all there is to 6. Now we've done uh, problem 8 in the uh, idea section. So I think it's idea of video one. So let's look at some multiplication. We did 14 in another idea video. So let's take a look at 16. 
4 minus 3i times 4 plus 3i. Just looking at this, I bet we're going to get a number out that doesn't have any i's involved. And I'll explain why I can see that once we're done. Oops. Okay. So you have a formula if you choose to use that. I choose to distribute, to FOIL things out. So 4 by 4 is 16. Minus, or excuse me, 4 times 3i is 12i. Minus 3i times 4 is a minus 12i. Then minus 3i times plus 3i is a minus 9i squared. Well, let's see. 16 is just 16. Plus 12i and minus 12i, these things cancel each other out. Then minus 9i squared. i squared is something special because i is square root of minus 1 then i squared is minus 1. So this is 16 minus 9 minus 1 is a plus 9 and so our answer is 25, a number that has no i's in it. And I knew that because these two things are conjugate. The conjugate of 4 minus 3i is just change the sign of the thing, the, you know, the i term. Change this negative to a positive. And when you multiply two conjugates together, you will get a real number back, a number without i's in it. And that's how I saw that. So let's take a look at 18, where we're doing minus 2 plus 3i and minus 3 plus 10i so again formula if you like but that's not my style I foil, I distribute minus 2 times minus 3 is 6 minus 2 times 10i is minus 20i 3i times minus 3 is minus 9i. 3i times 10i is 30i squared. Well, can't combine the 6 with anything at the moment. I can combine minus 20i and minus 9i. Those are like terms. And that's going to combine to be minus 29i. Now 30i squared, i squared, as we've been hammering this whole time, i squared is minus 1. So this is really 6 minus 29i minus 30. And now 6 can combine with minus 30 to give us minus 24. And that's minus 24 minus 29i altogether. There. All right. I think that should be enough for now. Uh, we'll, move, we'll move on to division the next time around.